This video is sponsored by Pianote. Bitter anti-church lyrics set to a mix of time signatures and a very clever sly use of the Amen plagal cadence. Hosier's 2013 debut single Take Me to Church is not a typical pop song. Many have discussed what an unlikely hit song this was, but most of those discussions focus on the song's lyrics, which give us a gritty and poetic critique of the Catholic Church and homophobia. So yeah, the song has some very compelling lyrics. But today I want to discuss the music those lyrics are set to, because the music to this song is just as unusual for a pop song as the lyrical themes are. To start off with, we all know that most pop songs are in 4-4 time, but Take Me to Church instead begins in a slow 3-4 time. My lover's got humour She's the giggle at a funeral Knows everybody's disapproval but Hosier doesn't even stay in 3-4 time for the whole song. At various moments, he mixes that 3-4 meter with 4-4. For example, at the end of the first verse, after hearing 8 bars of 3-4 time, we then get this one-off bar of 4-4 time, before then returning back to 3-4 for the next verse. Fresh poison each week We were born sick You heard them say it my church offers no Verse 2 of the song once again mixes bars of 3-4 and 4-4, but this time to a different ratio. The only heaven I'll be sent to is when I'm alone with you. I was born sick, but I love it. Command me to be well. So now we've arrived at the pre-chorus, and here we encounter the slickest part of this song. Something very clever happens here, and knowing the sort of songwriter Hosier is, I would guess that he did this on purpose. During the pre-chorus, Hosier sings the simple repeated lyric of Amen. Now the clever bit is the particular chords he sings that word over. The chords 4 to 1 in the key of G major, C resolving to G. A resolution referred to as a plagal cadence, or an Amen cadence, because this cadence is used in church music to sing the word Amen over. Amen. 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 So Hosier is singing Amen over an Amen cadence, just like what would happen at the end of a church hymn or prayer. But of course, despite what some Christian music playlists might make you believe, this song is a critique of Christianity, not an endorsement. And sure enough, we can see that in Hosier's treatment of this Amen cadence, because on the third and final Amen cadence, rather than moving from C to G, 4 to 1, Hosier instead uses the minor 4 chord, C minor, moving to G, adding a bitter, acrimonious twist to what is usually a traditional Amen cadence. Amen. Amen. Pianote gives you all of the resources you need to learn how to play the piano. Whether or not you're an absolute beginner, an intermediate, or even an expert player, Pianote's online service and YouTube channel are filled to the brim with videos on all aspects of being a piano player. They also have an interactive sheet music player, which comes complete with over a thousand songs that you can learn. Their sheet music player is synced up to the original recording so you can play in time. And you can also slow down the speed of that recording and create loops to help your practice. A subscription to Pianote also gives you access to Drumio, Singio and to Guitario, making it fantastic value for money. If you're interested, then you can try out Pianote using the link down below in the description. Thanks very much. And now we have arrived at the song's chorus for the first time, and to mark the occasion, we now switch to good old 4-4 time without any interruption from 3-4, at least for a few bars. The chorus being in a stable, consistent 4-4 time gives a real sense of relief and power to the arrival of this section. Take me to church, like a dog at the shrine of your life. I'll tell you my sins and you can sharpen your knife. Offer me that now, this song so far has effectively been in the key of G major, although we have spent most of the time in the relative minor side of that key, E natural minor. But whereas before we were dancing between E minor and G major, the chorus plants the tonality squarely 
in the E minor side of things by using this B major chord, the five chord of E minor. This shifts the tonality to what's called E harmonic minor, which comes with a far more serious and sinister sound to it than the softer, easier going E natural minor of the verse. So after the chorus, we then enter verse three and verse four, which use the same mix of three four time and four four time that we saw in the opening section of the song. That's followed by a second chorus, and after that we enter a new section, the bridge. The bridge, like the chorus, is in 4-4 time and is built from a new chord progression, a chord progression that we've not seen so far in the song. C major moving to G major, moving to B in second inversion, so it's over the F sharp, then moving to E minor over G, and then E minor. No masters or kings, when the ritual begins, there is no after four rotations of this new chord progression, we then get a reprise of the Amen pre-chorus section that we heard earlier in the song. But this time, a subtle change has been made to the section, yet another of our traditional Amen cadences have been de-sanctified by swapping the C major for a C minor. And then to cap it all off, we enter the chorus one last time, with the music finally drawing to a close on a sustained, harrowing E minor chord. I struggle to kind of comment on why it, it has lasted or why it's been such a lasting piece of music. There is a sort of an austerity to that to the way that song was recorded. I don't I don't mean that in a bad way. There's a rawness to it. I recorded it with a very, very bare bones rig in my attic. The song has, you know, it has been misinterpreted many times and it's it's similar to I think of Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen, you know, it's an, another classic example of people thinking it celebrating one thing and rather than it actually critiquing or satirizing or sort of subverting some idea. <laughs> 